What is a vowel? A vowel is a sound that you make without using your tongue, teeth, lips, or the top of your mouth. There are letters like A, E, I, O, and U, but also Y, and on rare occasions, W. Because if you try making these sounds, you can try doing them right now, notice. Your tongue's not really moving, nor your teeth, lips, or the top of your mouth. They're not being brought together. It's just a sound being generated by your voice box. Now, there are long vowels and short vowels. It is very important that people understand these if they're trying to read properly. Here are examples. If you have a long A, it is pronounced like the name A. So A as in fame, baby, race, place. So if it's long A, it's pronounced A. But if it's a short A, it's pronounced A or A, uh, as an apple, ant, ask, art, mark. So A uh and A. Uh. If it's a long E, it's pronounced like he, she, please, complete. So long vowels, they follow the pronunciation of the letter. So you say A-E-I-O-U. If they're pronounced exactly like that, they're long. If otherwise, they're short. So short E will be like in pet, went, bed, hen, fence. So eh. Long I will be like an I as an ice, light, wise, sign. So I. But if it's short, it's I. Like in print, bill, video, picture, dig. O as an O is long. So, hope, home, soul, force. But if it's short, it's ah, like in hop, pop, dot, clock, rock. Uh. Long U is pronounced U or U. So, as in music, huge, unicorn, tuba, and truth. So, notice those last two are pronounced U. So whether it's U or U, they're both long U's. But if it's short, it's pronounced U, uh, as in fun, sun, numb, tub, gum. So U. Uh. Look at all these examples. Familiarize yourselves with the long pronunciation and the short pronunciation. So what are long vowels and what are short vowels? It's important. Now, later on in this series... When we talk about syllables, the way that syllables are spelled will help you figure out whether they should be pronounced long or short. So if you're having difficulty with this, not to worry at all. Just keep watching the videos in this series, and you'll be able to pronounce words with long vowels and short vowels correctly. And it'll make you a better reader. So when is Y a vowel, and when is it a consonant? It's simple. If Y is pronounced E... I or I, just like the vowels we saw, then it's a vowel. So, like an only. If the letter Y comes at the end of a word like this, it is always a vowel, or cyber, or symbol, or cryptic. Notice most of them function like the letter I. So, cyber, symbol, cryptic, long I, and short I. Actually, it's interesting. Y in Spanish is called Y which means Greek I, because the Greeks used this letter to make the short I. So the rule is, if it comes at the end of the word, or in the middle, as you see all these, just not right at the beginning, it is a vowel. And notice, it follows the same definition of a vowel. You're not using your tongue, teeth, lips, or the top of your mouth to make this sound. But if it's a consonant, it has the ye sound. So like, yes. And if you notice carefully, say yes slowly. The middle of your tongue touches the top of your mouth. So if it ever has the y sound, or it comes at the beginning of a word with that sound, then it's a consonant. So yes, yet, you, and young. Those are all consonant-wise. So vowel-wise are if the letter Y comes in the middle or the end of the word, and consonant Y usually at the beginning, and it has the y sound. W. W's not quite a vowel like the others are. It's called a semi-vowel, meaning it's kind of a vowel. And those instances occur very similar to the letter Y. 
If it comes at the end or the middle of a word, then W functions as a vowel. So if you say saw, notice it has the ah uh sound, just like short A. Or if you say new, some people pronounce it new. Notice if you say new and new, it has the U sound, the long U. Or awesome, back to short A. Or snow, it has the O sound. So if it comes at the middle or the end of the word, just like Y, it is pronounced as a vowel. It's a vowel. That's when W is a vowel. But if it comes at the beginning of the word or syllable and it has the W sound, then it is a consonant. And notice, you're bringing your lips very close together. So you're using your lips to make the sound and that's one of the definitions of consonant. So if you say we, or walk, or west, or was, or any other words that begin with the letter W and make the W sound, then it's a consonant. So understand when W's a vowel and when is it a consonant. Now, why are vowels important? Number one, they determine the syllables in a word. You may have your teacher in the past teach you to put your hand under your chin and however many times it moves down, that's a syllable or to clap it out. But that's not how we determine syllables. The actual way we do it is looking at the vowels. And in the later videos in the series, you'll see how to determine how many syllables a word has and to figure out what the syllables are in a word. And it can actually be pretty easy if you follow the rules. If you want to write poetry, this is important. Because poetry in English and even Spanish and many other languages, it is extremely dependent on syllables. Each line should have a set number of syllables, and it will go all the way down through the poem. So if a poem has a hundred lines, often all hundred lines have the same number of syllables. Or sometimes one line has a number of syllables, the next line has a different number, but the third line has the same as the first, and the fourth has the same number as the second. So if you want to write poetry, it's very important for you to understand vowels and how to determine syllables in a word. Also, pronouncing them correctly can help you read much better. For example, if you say he had hop that they would win and his hopes were short, you're not gonna understand anything you're reading. All because you pronounced one word that was supposed to have a long vowel sound short and you pronounce the word with the short vowel sound long. And I've seen this happen. It's not a joke. It happens all the time. People don't know how to pronounce vowels so they don't understand what they're reading because they pronounce it incorrectly. But if you say he had hope that they would win and his hops were short, now all of a sudden these sentences make sense. Click here to go to the next video in the series.